it's the CH, the CH3528G10, or as I like to call it, the CH Emperor. The Emperor. And you know what? This one's way less expensive. This one's $32.90 on CH Knife Site. Comes in army green as well. And see, this is the Emperor in titanium S35VN. And I don't have mine anymore. And I don't know why I don't, okay? But it looks like it's the same length overall as the one in G10. That also, they're saying it comes in micarta or G10. But they don't really specify if this is the micarta one and the black one's a G10 or I don't know. So I'm looking at this. I'm thinking this is G10. Is that G10 or micarta? It might be micarta. I don't know. I mean, I have had micarta where it, it just seems so much like G10. This seems like G10 to me, but I don't know this pattern in here like this. Could be, it could be my carta. Uh, it's a flipper. It's easy to disengage. It's quick over the detent ball. It drops nicely. You know, not a problem there. It's centered up. No blade play or lock rock. Good looking blade. Got, you know, that Persian, a little bit trailing point influence on there. Um, lanyard hole in the back and it's tubed through the back spacer here the hardware is nothing to brag about but that's okay and you know at this price point obviously and you, yeah yeah back spacer it looks like they've skeletonized the liner at least on the presentation side and that's fine and it looks to me like we get about a 30 percent lock up on this and that's pretty squared up so we're good there and this is a pretty good sized dog. You know, this is like three and three quarter at minimum up here, more like four inch blade down to here from the tip. And then eight, well, have 22 centimeters. So about 8.7, 8.65 overall length. And it's a D2 blade. We've tested the steel on CH knives before. Um, the D2 ran anywhere from around 60 to 62 Rockwell. Um, but I'm not going to guarantee anything. I don't know. I mean, things can can change over time. But th those were years ago. We ran the S35. I remember S35 being at around 60 or 61. The M390 on the very first stuff we ever tested and that was batch one was not it was like 58 something so that was not uh very tough but i think we tested some later and looked like their rockwell numbers improved after i reported you know the first um so don't know and i think i'm gonna go ahead and have this 3504s uh, sent in because it's M390 and I'm going to have this Rockwell tested on this. Uh, and I, I think it's probably going to be kind of where all the M390 is these days. I bet this will be 59 something to maybe 60.3, probably nothing better than that because they seem not to be better than that or anything. I mean, after seeing the Microtech, MSI at 58.8, then I think pretty much anything's possible out there. But this is a nice little 3-inch, 7-inch overall knife. The skull on it, the, one of the first videos I ever did, you know, back in 2016, when I started doing my channel, was the 3504, the full-size one in S35VN, and it was blue titanium they came in different colors blue kind of a deep bronze and then a yellow uh color uh and they were full size so they were three and a half inch blade eight and a quarter overall something like that so this one's smaller i don't have my old you know standard one anymore but i mean i do have some other ones here you know this one here and i'm i still got these in my drawer i've had them for several years, the, th the 35, 38, 
Cool, huh? You know, I like the way they did this, but I, I didn't ever see a name that I can remember on this one. But, you know, this one's called the Spear, okay? And this one's got the crazy Anno job on it, okay? The Spear, okay? There's the backspacer, almost full length. Good looking knife. Um, and then the uh, Astro. I think this is the Astro. Yeah. Astro with a pocket clip on both sides. See? Okay. So this is the Astro. And it came in different colors as well. It was on a Kickstarter not that long ago, maybe a year and a half or so. And then the Sultan, which is kind of. You know, don't be insulting me, okay? Or maybe it means Sultan, like uh, Far Eastern, uh, okay, Middle East, okay. Um, and then it's got this little titanium insert on the front and the back, which I really liked. I like the Sultan. I just can't believe I don't have my titanium emperor anymore. I know I got rid of the Marshall. I know I sold that off to Linus over in Sweden, but... um. I can't find the emperor, and I, I don't remember when I sold that, if I did. But there's the sultan, okay? And I've got, I've got another sultan as well. That one, that's pretty nice, isn't it? Uh, is that S35? Yeah. So really he hasn't done a lot in M390, except he did this little dog in M390. He's done a few, okay? Um, but this one, the 3010? This is really slender and nice and uh, kind of that mixed G10 carbon fiber look, okay? But this is a front flipper, right? Uh, but super light and uh, easy to carry. So, I mean, I've got a few of them. Um, and that's not my G10 stuff. And I didn't bring that out. I just, I just thought I'd bring out some more of the bragging bait stuff right bragging but this dog she's pretty good size my 770 zt that yeah i just did a love this is why i don't do tutorials on sharpening knives look at the edge on that whoa did i broaden the base on that dog oh it works good but uh it ain't nothing to brag about I've had people go, could you sharpen my knife? It's like, you don't want me to sharpen your knife. I am a lick and a promise kind of guy. Protec, Mordax. Yeah. It may not be pretty, but it'll cut paper. And that, my KME, I just don't take the time and patience. I don't have the patience. Um, and there's my PM2. So this is a big knife, isn't it? This I'll never have to sharpen, Maximet. Yeah, so far it's holding its edge really well. Uh, but okay, so this dog, yeah, she's sharp and uh, not not too heavy. Let's put it on here, like 135 grams. Okay, kick it, kick it around, and let's hope I don't jump. Come on, come on. Come on. One more. 4.75. Okay. 4.75. That's under 5. That's not bad for a big old dog. And this has got, look at that, 4 inches there. 3 and 3 quarter up there at 96 millimeters. And then you got 22 centimeters here at really 8.75. They're saying 8.66 something. Technically, maybe. I don't know. But. It's pretty close to eight and three quarter overall length. So it's it's a big dog. I mean, it's not nine inches overall length, but it's good size. And this thing, and you know what? I'm going to have to, this is starting to fade, isn't it? This readout's not that bright. or I don't have my camera angle right with it or something. That's six tenths of an inch right there. That's a fatty. And then that's almost four millimeter blade stock, 0.15, okay? So 0.15, oh, hold on, yeah, 0.16 would be that, and 0.15 is like 3.8, somewhere in there, come on, come on, 0.15, okay, 
Yeah, 3.9, 3.8. So it's close to four millimeter blade stock. Centered, no blade play, all that kind of stuff. Kind of weird that they didn't do a left hand on this wire clip. I mean, why not? It's a $33 banger, right? I mean, why wouldn't you just go do that? I don't know. Might as well. I mean, uh, help you a little bit with the left hand sales. Right hand guy's not going to care that much because this is not glass case type material, right? This is just going to be a carry user. But, I mean, uh, it's got that nice design that the Emperor had or has or whatever, if you still got one. Um, and no, I don't have my damn it. I looked around, looked around. I haven't found it. I must have got, got, got rid of it in a trade or some kind of deal, something like that. Design flow is really nice, and blade to handle length is awesome, and easy to catch your balance on it. Reverse grip is comfortable. Forward grip is comfortable here. All the rest. They're on there. You got plenty of room for your fingers. Can you go forward if you're very careful? And you can kind of get up on here and do some detail work if you need to. So, I mean, you know what? It's contoured micarta, G10, whatever you want it to be. And um, I'm all good with this. I mean, this is one of my favorite G10 models he's done, right? And he's got a new one coming out on Kickstarter. I will alert you to that. Or you can just go on Kickstarter and type in CH Knives. See what they, see when they're posting it. I, I can't remember if she gave me my contact at CH Knives. If she gave me a specific date for that. But if she did, I'll put it up here. And I'll put it in my description and comment section. That kind of stuff. But that's an interesting looking knife. You'll have to see that. And no, I don't have a picture of it here. Let's get all my junk out and uh, crazy stuff just in case I need it. And I don't know where I want to come from on this knife. Um, I don't know where. That's not turning easily. So let's go here. Okay. Backside's probably usually the best side to try to begin with. Oh, that is a number eight. You know what? This looks, this feels almost like it's sticking out a little bit. Hmm. I guess it's not. I guess it's not. Okay. Just the way it, it looked initially. Okay. Come on. Get out of there now. Okay, so this is going to be a number eight. So I guess I don't need a number six at all. Okay, and there's, there's a pocket clip. I'll try and throw it on the ground if I can. Gotcha. Got that little sucker off the floor. Use a flashlight. It'll light up steel pretty good. You'll get the glint off of it. And there we go. So, yeah, that front one wasn't going to turn, was it? Because I think we got a captured pivot here. We don't have ceramic bearings. And um, I caught that in another knife not too long ago. I think it was the Bodega. Uh, the Bodega. The big Bodega in D2. That didn't have uh, ceramic bearings either. This one seems to have a better build quality, that's for sure. Oh, God, that's embarrassing to say. The Bodega is $120, bucks and this is 33 Okay, but, yeah, we're looking good. And that's pretty clean all the way through. And, of course, yeah, okay, there's our... So it's rounded... Except at the very end where it meets across the way on the opposite scale. And there we just threw our... Well, that's a pretty good little chunk, isn't it? That's pretty sizable thickness-wise for a blade stop. And then we've got some skeletonized. So it's under five ounces. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Okay. So, there you go. 
That's it. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, you all done. You done now. Mm-mm. Oh, yeah, she's good. She's good. We're liking that. Good size knife. Nice carry beater. Not a light gent carry. A user. Very budget friendly. And the whole CH line, not too shabby. And you know, especially when you think about price, uh, these things have never been expensive, even though they've been anywhere from M390, S35VN, titanium, nice fit and finish. Uh, they've been good user knives and really attractive designs. And uh, we just keep rocking on. Come on, come on, push down, push down. How about that? Oh, got to put the spear in here, right? The spear has got to go in here. So, hell of a bunch. Oh, where are you, my bud? There you go. Here, here. We crowd them all in, crowd them. There they are. That's my mess of the higher end. Someday I'll get the rest of my G10 stuff out. And we'll talk again. But upcoming, watch for that uh, Kickstarter thing on one of their models. I think it's a front flipper. It's a very different design. All right, I'm going to let you go. We do love them CH knives. You guys, stay sharp.